These niggas part-time hoes and full-time bitches Hate like everything so personal You niggas part-time hoes and full-time bitches Hate like everything so personal You niggas part-time hoes and full-time bitches Hate like everything so E-Fooly is the truth You gonna learn today What is happening YouTube? Y'all know me E-Fooly Bringing a different type of video on the channel man Top 5 unique guns And I mean there has been some really good ones. If your fan favorite is not mentioned, just know it was a lot to choose from. But when I say unique, I'm not necessarily meaning the strongest hitting gun. I'm saying a different aspect put into a weapon that they made work. You feel me? And this list, like I said, I only did five only to see people's reaction to it. Um, but let's jump on into... All right, coming in at number five. Like I said, these are very unique guns, but we're gonna put the Porter Pooper 5000 in. This gun right here, it speaks for itself as far as uniqueness. Now this gun is, you receive it from a side mission. Uh, I wanna say it's called Porter Prison. It's basically a dude in a porta potty, but you get rewarded with a rocket launcher that actually shoots shit, okay? Let me shoot this for y'all. Very simple, very fucking simple. Is it strong? I don't know. But when I got this, I was like, yo, this unique as fuck, man. Uh, so this one, like I said, it doesn't have to necessarily be exotic, but uniqueness definitely, definitely goes to this one, man. That's why I had to come in at number five. All right, coming in at number four, which, like I said, this is subject to your own liking, but as far as uniqueness, and as far as, I wanna say Easter egg goes, One Pump Chump comes in at number four as a very unique gun. Now, if you have not got this gun, uh, all you have to do is farm a boss, um, and his name is simply One Punch, he's at Electro City. Um, very easy to farm. You may want to farm him now offline because they did drastically reduce uh, drop rates. So farming offline may be better for everybody at this point. One thing that I really like about this gun, if you notice it has one clip, one shot will be fired, but it has a 50% chance not to consume ammo when fired. So you can pop off. I think the highest I went was maybe three or four. Uh, my boy Karma said, yo, one time he got all the way up to seven. It's just a 50-50 chance, which is not bad. Um, let's shoot this. And if you see it, it is one punch. And I'm telling you, this thing packs a fucking punch. So you see that? I've already shot twice. Four times, and then I had to... So that's actually my highest, was four. Okay, so that's what makes this gun so fucking unique is that if you can get it to go, if you get that string of luck, you can shoot this motherfucker, you know, four to five times. And I'm telling you, the amount of damage this thing does, it's fucking incredible. All right, so this next one coming in at number three. Now this gun, it doesn't do a special effect, but what it actually does, how it actually works, I thought was unique as fuck. Deep dive face puncher. Okay, now basically just a face puncher. Ooh, excuse me. Basically just a face puncher. What's so unique about this one is the damage dealt by this weapon is not weapon damage. The amount of damage that is done by this gun is predicated on your melee damage. And I thought that shit was so fucking cool because if you have a melee build, this shit would be perfect for you. So for instance, me right now, I'm, one of, I'm running a weapons build. This gun is gonna shoot like ass. But for those people who run that siren class that have that melee build set up, this thing will be perfect. So me shooting this right now, I mean, like I said, it shoots regular, but as far as uniqueness, it'll come because it is centered around a person's melee damage. So again, I say, if you have a melee build character, if you spec everything into melee, or your character has some type of melee that you like to use, use this. The higher your melee damage, the stronger this gun will be. So, I mean, 
I've never seen a gun like this in any of the Borderlands that's strong as far as your melee damage. So I thought this was very unique. That's why it gets number three. All right, you guys, coming in at number two, this goes without question, man. This gun is the Smart Gun XXL, all right? And if you never find this, I'll tell you where to get it. Um, you want to farm a boss called Gigamine, and he is on Meridian Metroplex on Promethea. Uh, you fight him during the story mission. He's the dude that looks like the cat from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the brain. That's basically what he is. So this gun right here, its uniqueness is not exactly how it shoots, but how it reloads, because it's a TDR. What it does, it puts little turrets out there that are brains, all right? And if you put too many of them out there, watch this, they start exploding. So when an enemy comes in, automatically, what happens? They all will explode. So you can time this right and have kind of like a, I wanna say, pinpoint explosion by just reloading all of these and putting them all in one area, calculating it perfectly. When I saw this, I was like, yo, man, that is fucking crazy. Cause I, myself personally, I don't like TDRs like that. Like the whole baby maker. I mean, it's a, it's a nice gun. You know what I'm saying? People are gonna have their opinion. But for me, myself, I never really fucked with TDR. But this one, and there is another one. It is another SMG that when you reload it, it becomes a turret right next to you. Like you throw it and it'll come back and it'll follow you around and it'll start killing shit. Um, I forget the name of that one, but that one is not as unique as this one. This has to be, if not the best TDR weapon as far as we're talking about the reload mechanic line. So that's why, I, yo, number two. All right, you guys, now coming in at number one, this gun right here, I mean, it, it, it's without question one of the most uni unique guns you'll probably ever see in Borderlands. God damn, excuse me. This one right here, it's called the Bankroll Predator. You get this from a boss if you've never gotten it. It's from a Varkid on the droughts. I forget the name exactly, but it's the only bug boss, mini boss, that's on the droughts. Um, and just like it says, bankroll, this thing will literally cost you to shoot. And I'm not even joking. If you've not had this, it literally takes from your money. So if you look down in the corner, it shoots. Corrosive. It's a corrosive wet right now. But if you look in the corner as far as how much ammo I have, it's a 7 million. That's literally... Look at that. That's literally the money I have. So if you had max 999, you'll have that much ammo for this weapon. Now, you can use this at your own risk. I mean, once you get all the SDUs, I don't think it's a real need for money. Um, money kind of loses its effect as far as you know paying for things it's nothing I would say the economy for Borderlands is pretty much broken in that aspect that's why I really don't I don't put too much emphasis on when I die and I have max money and I lose like 10 million I think the most I've ever lost I want to say was like 27 million because that's how much far over the cap I was um, I really don't see nothing wrong with that because it's like, yo, what the fuck am I going to spend the money on? And then when you have shit like uh, the Cheddar Shredder that gives you fucking money and then it's a, it's a relic that gives you money loot. And a lot of guns can get rolled to have money drops on it. It's really no reason to have money. But as far as having a weapon that actually shoots money, I've never seen this in any fucking Borderlands game. This is the most unique fucking weapon I've ever seen in my fucking life, man. Seriously. Um, and that is our top five as far as unique weapons. Now, if you do not have any of these, if you need any type of weapons, um, as you see in my game down in the left-hand corner, shouts out to my boy Tuck, shouts out to Karma. Uh, 
we've been farming a lot. Well, Karma has been farming the most, I would have to say, because he goes offline and the drop rates are fucking insane. Uh, Tuck, you know, he works, fucks hoes. Well, fucks. And I forget her name. Sebastian. I can't remember her fucking name for the life of me. Uh, Cynthia. Shit, dude. My boy Karma just told me that girl name, man, and I fucking forgot it, dude. Why am I thinking Sebastian? He's fucking a girl. I'm telling you, man. He's fucking a little Latina girl. I fucking forget her name. God damn. Shouts out to my boy Tuck, but he's working. But if you need any weapons, because I'm getting messages about duping, if you need any type of weps or need like a money glitch or anything, you see the gamer tags down at the bottom, Tucker Big J7 or Karma's Illusions. Cause I feel bad because people do send me messages and I don't have my notifications on, right? So I'll answer them late and then they'll answer me late and it'll, it'll just be weird yo-yoing back and forth. So if I have an opportunity to, to link y'all to somebody else that's also willing to help and willing to do, then yo, I've, I've done my part as well. But uh, if you need any of these unique webs or if you're looking for anything, yo, message me. Y'all see my gamer tag, man. It's there every day. Uh, straight up fully. Karma's Illusions or Tucker Big J7. Also, I am looking for a conference call that's either cryo or fire. There is a mail system here or message me and I dupe it to me. I would deeply appreciate it, man. Other than that, make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Know that you fully running the game. You don't believe that suck my wang. I'm out. You fully signing the fuck out. Spread the word. I'm back breaking, bitch. I'm <laughs> sorry.